meet the Mako 284. It's the flagship of the Mako line, a rugged offshore center console, nearly 28 and a half feet long, with a wide beam, just under 10 feet, and rated to carry a full crew of up to 13. The 284 is George Poveromo's boat of choice for his long-running nationally televised World of Saltwater Fishing TV series on NBC Sports. George Poveromo has been fishing out of a Mako since 1977, and he moved up to the 284 when it was first introduced in 2005. Today, he continues to be impressed with Mako Boat's focus on continuous improvement and the impressive fit and finish. While the 284 comes standard with twin 200 horsepower XL Verado outboards, it can be optionally rigged up to 700 horsepower with twin white 350 horsepower outboards and optional Mercury joystick piloting for precision control. Riding on an aggressive 21 degree dead rise hull with a 30 inch transom and with 228 gallons of fuel on board, the 284 is fully capable of heading across the Gulf Stream to Bimini and beyond on its maiden voyage. Throughout your years of ownership, you'll really appreciate the seagoing competence of the 284, letting you head 50 or 60 miles offshore to your favorite fishing grounds whenever you want without giving it a second thought. As a member of the Mako family, the 284's performance is simply legendary, a true leader in its size class smashing waves down to size and always eager for more. The latest generation of this boat features an even stronger 100% composite hull. This no wood construction is also lighter, which makes for faster acceleration and top speeds, along with better handling and fuel efficiency. The wide spacious console is set up for serious offshore duty with plenty of space on the panel for mounting and configuring your custom electronics. The windshield is constructed of tempered glass for clear visibility and wind protection for the long run. There's a destroyer style steering wheel, tilt adjustable for stand up or seated operation. State of the art illuminated gauges and illuminated switches that are breaker protected with convenient push button resets. Switches for the electrically operated recessed trim tabs even feature indicator lights to keep you advised of their position. And when you dock and shut down power, the trim tabs automatically retract. Inside the console, a privacy compartment features a mirror, sink, a removable storage pouch, and an onboard head. Plus, it's lockable, so you can stow valuable items and fishing gear when you're trailering or going ashore. The compartment also affords easy access to below floor plumbing and to the main electrical panel, wiring, and batteries. Access to key systems, such as electrical and plumbing, is a major benefit of the 284. With convenient, cleanly finished access hatches evident throughout the boat. For long-term reliability, tinned copper wiring prevents corrosion, and every six inches, each wire's insulation is printed with its function to make tracing it easy. And key systems are backed up. For example, the 284 features redundant bilge and bait well pumps for when you're far offshore. The double-wide leaning post is beautifully upholstered in heavy-duty two-tone marine-grade vinyl and features open storage and a lockable glove box below the tilt-out seat. Just aft of the leaning post is a fully equipped bait station with a freshwater sink and a huge 50-gallon bait well that can be pressurized when underway to reduce stress on your live bait if you hit rough water. There's a removable cutting board, closed storage for tackle and lures, plus handy access to your tools and knives, even drinks. For cleanup, simply pull out the coiled, raw water washdown hose from its hatch. The 284 comes standard with an outrigger-ready fiberglass hardtop with five rocket launcher rod holders and spreader lights, plus four more rocket launchers behind the leaning post. In addition, there's a total of six flush mount rod holders on the tops of the gunnels, three on each side as well as rod racks below the gunnels on both sides of the cockpit to store a total of six seven-foot rods. To hold your catch until you get back to the dock, there are two 390-quart in-floor fish lockers on both sides of the console, equipped with diaphragm pumps and overboard drains. Up front, below the bow seats, port and starboard, you'll find two insulated compartments that can be used for gear storage, or you can ice them down as coolers or additional fish lockers. One of the best seats in the house 
is the double wide padded seat just forward of the console with two drink holders and a drink cooler below. Just forward of that, a locker in the center of the bow floor lets you stow even more gear for your offshore adventure. Another feature you'll really appreciate are the flip out storage cubbies along both sides of the cockpit. Extremely useful to keep key items handy yet off the floor and dry. All hatches and lids on board the 284 have been constructed using closed mold technology, which makes them lighter weight, but stronger as well. They fit with precision and feature a molded in channel for a custom fit gasket. Not only do compartments stay drier, but the tight fit results in considerably less noise while underway. Just another benefit of all the engineering and attention to detail that went into creating the latest generation Mako 284. Like all Mako models, the Mako 284 is backed by Mako Assurance, the best factory warranty in the business, five years stem to stern. A limited lifetime structural warranty, plus a three-year gel coat warranty. When it's time to step up to the ultimate saltwater boating experience, step up to the Mako 284. It comes standard in Mako White, but is also available in six stunning two-color hull combinations. The next step is to plan a visit to your nearest authorized dealer and climb on board. When you do, you're sure to discover even more standard equipment and features, all offered at a better value than any other boat in its class. The incomparable Mako 284.